Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Topher Welsh for Inside the Hive at blog.videohive.net and visualfxtuts.com. Of course, you hear me say it every single week. Uh, check out what we got over here. We got, you know, the new 5 second project, tons of deals going down, things like that. But what we're going to be screwing around with today is how to create another way to create super tight junk mats. So if you follow Arn Rabinowitz, from uh, Creative Cow, All Bets Are Off, Productions, uh, Red Giant Software, things like that, you've probably seen his tutorial, Creating Super Tight Junk Mats. And uh, like he says, it's not that like, yo, check out my Super Tight Junk Mats dog. It's, uh, it's creating really, really thin junk mats around your actor, and uh, so it makes it easier to key. So what he does is he uses this auto trace feature, and then he uses a simple choker, but... My buddy Maltanen showed me this really cool technique, and I figured I'd share it with you guys. And yes, I do have his permission, and you know he's a great guy, and um, I'd like to show this with you. So obviously, you can see we got this footage that you know wasn't really shot on the best green screen set, obviously. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just apply a couple effects to kind of. Uh, you can see this. It's just, you know, we got these horrible shadows here. We got wrinkles in our green screen. Uh, we have all these four, these objects here. Tape, boom mic, things like that. So, obviously, we're going to junk mat this stuff out, but then there's still all this uneven, like, this green is way different than this green, and the shadows, you know, it's just all, it sucks, you know? So, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that using a different way and a less time-intensive way than Aaron's to get that super tight junk mat. So... Let's um, go over here. We're going to bring our window up. We're going to do, uh, well, first off, actually, we're going to hit the G key, bring up our pen tool, create a really simple, um, you know, really simple. Because, I mean, he only moves in this little area right here. So, uh, you know, if he was flailing his arms around, we'd probably animate that crap anyways. But... Um, <laughs> all we're going to do is we're going to go into effect and keying, if I knew how to spell, I'd know where the K was. Uh, and then we're not going to hit key light, but we're going to do color range. So we're going to grab our colors. First one is going to grab, you know, those colors. And then we're going to hit the plus one and grab another shade of green. And we're pretty much getting everything. I'm going to grab this last little bit down here. Okay, so, you know, it, it's a horrible, horrible looking key, right? I mean, he's getting pulled apart and everything. But, that is not our issue. Instead of doing the uh, auto trace feature, all we're going to do is go into effect, matte, simple choker, and just like Aaron did, is pull it negative. Perfect. You know? And so what the negative does is if there's like little artifacts over here, it's going to pull those into negative, and so they'll just disappear. And then you're going to have this dude and all the uh, stuff that's getting pulled out in his face will uh, disappear because you're basically expanding the mat. And then the edges of him is just going to expand just as much. So I like to do mine, you know, about 36. I mean, you, if you have a, a well-lit green screen, you can probably get away with a lot less. But, you know, I have these uh, shadows down here, and it could interfere with something like this right here. So... And then all you gotta do is go into effect, keying, key light, grab your green. Oops, didn't even hit the green. It's gonna pull out our green. Sorry, my computer's pretty dang slow. Okay, so it'll pull out our green. You know, it's already a really good key. We can look at our uh, screen mat see what that looks like and you can see you know he's still got getting some pulled out so let's just go into our pre-blur set to like I don't know 2.0 because this is HDV footage um let's see we're gonna go into our screen mat and you know just clip the black up a little bit uh clip the white down and you're seeing all this over here and, you know, it's not really that bad because 
when you think about it like you're only looking at like the very very edges so you just want your front mat to be clean and let's clip that black up pretty heavy actually just so like it disappears around his feet that's where we're really kind of uh, concerned about probably uh, flip the white up more see how that's strong you know we got a little bit right here we could probably do like a secondary key here if we needed to but you know what let's just uh, let's look at our final result and see how this is looking you know hey there we go I'm going to uh, just put a simple solid right behind him let's say like nice light blue just to see what's going on drag that underneath and you know we got a we got a pretty good looking key right here you know I mean this kinda looks kinda blobby you know we can run like a secondary key on that but you know the, the, the demonstration of the tutorial is just to show you this little simple technique to, you know, get a really nice junk mat with very minimal effort, and especially if you have tons of shots that you're doing. Um, you know, it's really simple, and hopefully it'll be it will benefit you guys. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial. My name is Topher Walsh for InsideTheHive.net and VisualFXTuts.com. It's been good. It's been real. I will talk to you guys later. See you later. Bye.